I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks, and the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. I dipped the severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, everything down there was out for my blood. Jesse here, over. Shit, there's no signal down here. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelt on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? That a woman, hell-bent on becoming a mother, was unable to afford standard artificial insemination. So she sought illicit services on the black market instead. And you know how the black market is. They scam you with any fake shit. She took up an offer from a back alley doctor who did the operation as requested. But she had yet to find out that she was actually fertilized with piranha sperm. Jesus, poor woman. Months passed and she became the mother of a school of human piranha hybrids. The horrified woman flushed them down the toilet. They ended up in the sewers, where they would keep reproducing, creating a colony of human piranha hybrids, the same ones that attacked me. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders!
Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. You've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was foobar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. Pissing me off! Damn you! Boss defeated! Shredders. That. As I proceeded down the sewer sidewalk, I. Around 10 yards. Hold on. Weren't those channels narrow? You're contradicting yourself, Mr. Fox. That's because the sewer fumes were psychotropic and messing with my senses. I see. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. I answered the call before leaving. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. Before leaving the office, I searched for the documents. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. Operation Jericho is a rumor only... Who's there? Damn cat. Who's there? It's Mike! Fuck, Mike, you scared me. I'm sorry. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Heading south, I ran into a <laughs> Once the guards were history, I
took a glance. heard something. Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the noose. Heading east, I ran into a... Hold on, don't tell me the prisoner. Did you get that radio? Yeah, here you go. Thanks, Fox. I'll call you if I find out anything. If you want to talk, use channel two. Okay, now get out of here before the guards show up. I was so hungry that I almost bit into the raw steak. But I remembered that it's a crime to kill an animal for its meat. Are you vegetarian? No. Killing them is a crime. That's why I eat them when they're still alive. Nothing useful. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, Robert. <laughs> I
I answered the call before leaving. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am. I was so hungry that I almost bit into the raw steak. But I remembered that it's a crime to kill an animal for its meat. Are you vegetarian? No. Killing them is a crime. That's why I eat them when they're still alive. After making the platform, I had what I needed to cross the sewer channels to freedom. Hold on, Mr. Fox. The platform just vanished. What? Of course not. I picked it up every time I got to the other side. You didn't mention that. Sounded like it vanished. Well, I didn't feel like I had to mention something so obvious. Then should I write down that you picked up the platform every time you used it? Yes, of course. Well, Mr. Fox, please continue with your story. Mr. Fox, the noose. Later. Don't try my patience, Mr. Fox. Way. How many rats were down there? Hell yeah! The sewer was infested with assassin rats. They were everywhere, rushing to devour me alive. It was horrible. Felt like I was a huge chunk of cheese.
Inside some debris, I found an old flamethrower. It was in bad condition, but I could fix it. The worst part was the fuel tank was savagely chewed apart. It couldn't be saved, so I set out to replace it. After the repairs, my flamethrower was ready. The tubes were covered in rust, so I took great care to avoid overheating it. You must have been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention it...
It had four pairs of tentacles. Thing dead, but then my luck turned south. The old flamethrower broke apart as I continued the fight, so I finished it the old fashioned way with my fists. defeated. Mr. Fox the Gallows Noose, tell me how you got it. I'll tell you later. Enough! You've tried my patience, Mr. Fox. Tell me right now how you got that damn noose. Or I'll kick your ass and throw you in isolation. Okay, okay. No need for that. I was just about to tell you. Using the rusty wire, I extracted a yard of my own intestine. It was too soft, so I left it to dry. It was eventually tough enough to hold my weight. Turns out, having shorter intestines means you go to the toilet more frequently. Is that really how you got the noose? Of course not. I lied to the officer. Why? Because no one threatens me to tell the truth. Then how did you really get the noose? I'll tell you later. 